Separation sequencing is a very interesting topic when we're talking about separation processes. Now let us remember our last uh, exercise in which we got the feed, which is the ethanize. It contains mostly C3 all the way to C6. And we use three columns, one, two, and three. And the first one we separated C5+, plus, meaning C5, C6, 7, 8, all over then in column 2 we separated propane in column 3 we separated isobutane and n-butane now i don't know about you guys but i was always curious when i was cool on why should we always go for that route and i always thought well what happens if i want to remove first other type of materials and later on i uh, studied or I stumble upon the separating or separation sequencing, which is the following. The three column recovery processes to the right is only one of five alternative sequences of distillation operations. So actually it blew my mind when I saw that actually there are ways in which we can change the separations. And I know that in mathematics, typically the order of products will not affect or alter the final result. But in separation processes, it does. And what we cover in separation sequencing is, of course, understanding the general rules for separation and what is the main focus. First, obtaining purity, maybe second, uh, energy requirements, and so on. Okay. So, small summary or to take from here is multiple sequencing might take place. This is an example. So we got the hydrocarbon feed, remember C3 all the way to C5, maybe even C6 and heavier. A sequence of distillation column is to be used as stated before. And what I want to show you here, guys, is that actually we can have a lot of other separation schemes. And unfortunately, uh, okay, the following diagram contains NC5 and ISO C5 meaning that we no longer have this guy right here, C6, but you get the idea. So we got C3, 4, 4, 5, 5. So this is normal, ISO. Remember normal is this shape, ISO will be this shape. For N pentane will be something like this, for ISO pentane will be something like this, okay? So what we are doing here is we got fit and these are just arrangements in how we could in theory separate them. It doesn't mean necessarily that this can happen, but these are approaches in which we are going to reach the streams as stated. So the very first approach will be, of course, go for propane, which in theory is the lightest one. So we separate the lightest material and the heavier material, which is C4s and C5s, treat them later. So what you do is now remove the second lightest, which is ISO, and then N butanes. So I'm not going to get into the technical terms and chemistry, but typically ISO materials are easier to separate due to their uh, van der Waal interaction being uh, not so strong. That's one approach. Maybe we can go as stated before, we separate C3, but in this specific case, we can separate half and half. So we separate C5s and we separate C4s and then we purify C4s. That will be a cool approach. The other one will be separate the rough heavy material C5 and recover C4, C3 on the bottoms, also in the distillates. Send them to a second column, separate normal C4. Remember that ISO C4 and C3 are lighter. So we have C3 and ISO C4 and then separate. Another case which it's also very, let's say, computing or mathematical. This is actually the one I always uh, envision in my head because remember that these deletion columns are nothing more than trays. So I imagine having this tray system and saying, well, why not go half on half? So we got C3 all the way to C5. What we are doing here is top materials will be the most volatile material and the two materials going here, those will be the least volatile materials. And then I will separate them into the most volatile material, least volatile material. And so you keep doing this. Actually, if you wanted to treat this one, you could do the same. But right now we're not focusing our attention into separating uh, dependent. 
So this is my first approach whenever I imagine some distillation column is separating roughly half and half and do it half by half by halving and so on. And finally this one guys, but there's no case of analyzing this. The main idea you got it. There are many ways in which we could in theory have a separation. Actually, depending on the sequences, we're going to encounter that in some cases we favor certain properties or characteristics, for instance, purity. In other cases, we might favor total flow rates. In other cases, we may favor uh, the heating and cooling savings and so on. There are many ways and many things to analyze. I cannot show you directly which one is the best. Of course, we have some heuristics and thumb rules, which we are going to be covering next. Okay. And this is another diagram, how we can separate A, B, and C, D. So the first one will be separate D, then A, B, C, then separate C, then we have A, B, and then separate A, B. Or the reverse, we separate the lighter one, always the lighter one, heavier, and so on. There are many ways in which we can separate this. Actually, as stated before, guys, one of my most common approach whenever I see separation is separating half and half, A, B, and C, D, and then A, B, and CD are separated into halves, A, B, and then C and D.